Hello YouTube, I'm El Worf and today we're playing some more, or well not playing, we're talking about Diplomacy, a wonderful board game and arguably one of the better ones, uh, you know, in terms of war strategy games, in my opinion. So today we're taking a look at the country of Turkey. They have the fourth highest win rate in this game. Not surprising, they're the, the most reclusive, the most suppressed edge part edge part of the game but uh they do have a lot of potential to succeed i've won as turkey uh that's i've only won one game of this and this was as turk and it was as turkey therefore making them my favorite nation but of course that's not really how the game works you can win with any country it's just the the odds of you winning go down as, as we're going to go through this list uh by the way not to say that you can't do well so turkey what do they have going for them well they're on the edge uh and they don't have that many moves uh, as you probably, as you might remember from the Russian uh, video, uh, your alliance with Russia will be very strong. If you wish to go that route as Turkey, your typical opening move is to go into Bulgaria from Constantinople, Smyrna into Constantinople, and Ankara to the Black Sea. You're doing this with the intention that you're going to get a bounce in Sevastopol from the Russian ship, and then you both bounce back, and all is good. Uh, presumably, uh, just so you know, Austria is going to be your main enemy in this scenario if you work with Russia, because you need to fight someone. Uh, Austria will generally do a uh, fleet from Trieste to Albania, Budapest to Serbia, and then if I was Austria, I'd go into Trieste. But that's just me. They don't have to do that, of course. Uh, they could go to Tyrolia, but I, I would argue that that offers some different problems for, for them. Okay, so uh, what does this scenario mean? Well, in your second in your second round, let's let's pretend they went to Trieste. Uh, if you see Russia doing uh, something like this, where they're doing the um, if you see Russia doing the northern tactic against England, you're set. As Turkey, you love it. You're saying, great. There's no way that they can deny it. If uh, in this scenario you want to talk to Austria, actually, and you want to say, hey, Austria. I would like, um, you, you speak to Austria, and you say, Austria, I would like Greece, but I'll give you, um, well, no, what, what is it, uh, what's, let me think here, you're trying to get one of these two, you're trying to make a gain of two, right, that's what you want to do, you want, you might say to them, hey, uh, let me have Romania, um, and do that, you might want to try and get them to do that again, bounce in the Black Sea, if they don't, if they go here, and you bounce this way, that's really bad for Russia, because now they have get, you're of guaranteed access. Uh, in fact, it would be very hard to actually stop Russia from going to Romania, but they'd want to do it with an army. Of course, this Russian army right there that comes from Warsaw, is su the direction it goes pretty much decides the alliances of the game in the eastern seaboard, simply because if the Warsaw goes to Silesia and they're doing, a, a again, a northern attack, or maybe they do the pincer move like I talked about, that changes the whole game, in which case there's not enough Russian support. They're not going to make any gains this way. Uh, one way you could play, uh, because again, assume, let's assume you bounce. Let's assume they're not doing that. Let's assume it's typical play. You have, you're you in this scenario at the end of the first turn. Uh, you're not getting Romania as Turkey. That's actually very unlikely to happen. What you're trying to do, uh, especially if you have a, a standoff there, they might do uh, support into there. You could try and convince... Because uh, you you know for sure Austria is going to want to make sure that the Italian alliance is good and then move uh, a support move into Budapest and take Greece with their fleet. That's what they want to do. They gain two. That's the plan. Turkey, you, you, you really are stuck as Turkey, which is why uh, I've, been doing some, I've been doing some thinking about this. On your first turn, this is an alternate move, which I think is on, could be better. What would happen is you'd be in this scenario at the end of turn one. And uh, essentially how you resolve it is you point out to, to Russia, hey, I'm going to go here and cause a bounce. Right? So you'd cause a bounce, making this unit useless. You'd say, I'm going to go out. This is a, a speedy way to do it. Now you might be thinking, well, hold on. What if, what if they go there? Well, um, that's not really much of an issue. Because what you're going to do is you're going to go to Romania and cover the, the loss uh, and then uh, go that way on the, along the south coast. You, you want to go south coast to uh, Bulgaria, right? 
Uh, so essentially, uh, uh, let me just make this a little more clear because I know it probably sounds a little confusing. It starts like this. And uh, so first turn you open, uh, if, I, if I open like this, Turkey opens like that, and Russia does standard play. So Russia just did standard play. Uh, it would now mean that um, this is vulnerable. So what you could do is get them to move into there. You could just block and pretend and then coast it that way. This, by the way, which if you do the fleet move in that direction, what you're, you, whichever coast you land on says who you're attacking. If I go east coast, it means that I have rights to attack the Black Sea if I need to, uh, to force, to, which pretty much says if Black Sea goes anywhere or tries to help anywhere, this is always going to be attacking, right? So that means this move to Sevastopol cannot be supported. It'll be bounced. If this guy moves out, he's stuck. If you go to Armenia, well, if you if you want to do the swap, you can. However, that'll favor uh, Turkey because they can get guys closer. But again, I'm not a fan of that. Uh, again, if you just do the regular moves, uh, Turkey's just a little slow to play. Uh, that's kind of the main thing you got to be thinking about with Turkey. And you, again, work the alliances. If you can get an alliance with Austria and, you know, in, in first turn, uh, Austria does something crazy. Like, for example, if first turn Austria were to go, um, you know, Budapest support Vienna into Galicia, and then you go Albania. Then on their second turn, they're doing this with the implication of, I mean, no matter what, they're guaranteed to get Serbia, just so you know. So this is not a horrible first turn, especially if you do that, you get the bounce standard play. Oh, it's a supported attack move in. Warsaw is stuck. In this scenario, what you created is a situation where uh, you pretty much tell them, hey, uh, I want to get one, get one of these. How, and you pretty much will, you want to negotiate a way so that way you either get this scenario or you get this scenario. You would rather have Greece as Turkey. You want Greece, but that's an unlikely to happen. Uh, but you do, uh, just keep going Black Sea, by the way, with this fleet until you get it or until, you know, something else happens. Technically, you can go Armenia first turn. That's This is also a, a valid setup because you can still attack the Black Sea and you're getting closer to Sevastopol. That's not a bad move. The only risk is that you now don't have the, the fleet. So it's not as useful, I guess, is what I'm saying. Um, like, for example, if you're in this scenario, uh, first turn, you know, you've bounced. You're in this scenario. Second turn, uh, if you were trying to get one more, which, uh, by the way, you'll get one as Turkey. You're, you always are going to get Bulgaria. I don't think there's a scenario where you can lose Bulgaria. But if, if uh, they're going all out, say it's a, they really want to get this moving because attack them. So if they support and support, that's a 2-2, two, two. then they have to make a choice, right? So you do Romania, I'd argue, is a little little stronger. If they want to give it up, they can go that way and, and do Serbia. That way they still get their two. Uh, then Russia will either attack one and uh, bounce, and bounce it, uh, and then give you the Black Sea, right? Because that, that's how it would be. Or they do the bounce again, and then you get two. You'd rather have that happen, because then this is the board. Uh, in this particular circumstance, in which case you're building two. What you're doing is you're building an army and a fleet uh, because that's covered. If that was not covered, now uh, if you build a fleet, you're signaling an attack onto Austria. If you get an army, you're attacking Russia because remember this army would go to Armenia. That's how that would work. So yeah, Russia, uh, Turkey's a little more limited than uh, the others, but there is still some fun cheeky stuff you can do. For example, if you were to get Italy involved, which again is why uh, this game, uh, as always I'll say, I recommend it. you have play with a full player game. Uh, but say you have Italy uh, helping out in the beginning. Well, what do you do is Italy, Ionian Sea first move, Naples, right? If, if you can get them to do that and you're in, um, you could actually uh, do, so if you do this scenario, but then you, what you're looking at, right? Cause you're gonna expect Italy to do his typical moves, go get Tunis as usual. Uh, but if you know that this guy goes there, this guy goes there, and you can convince the Viennans, Venetians, to not go to Trieste. So that's the thing, right? So I, I always think that uh, Austria should go to Trieste because you're protecting from it Italy. But if they go the more typical one, which is Tyrolia, the Austrians will do that, right? Uh, Vienna then becomes open to go into Trieste, which means it's harder for the Austrians to justify... Um, you know, because they'll go for a bounce. 
right? Uh, or what will happen is if they're not paying attention, there you might be in this scenario where it's a trade, but Italy gains one. And then at that point, you'll be more secure to on second turn, try and do the, the rotate. Again, keep, keep going for black C. Uh, whoever gets black C pretty much decides who, who, which direction the war can go. If Russia has black C and uh, somehow, because this is possible, if they got in that position, then it means that they will either uh, go, there might be an Austrian-Russian alliance, which you never want as Turkey. If these two ally, you're pretty much dead because uh, Italy alone can't help you enough. Uh, you really, again, I, I think you want to be allied with them. Uh, for example, uh, if you if you're doing the full, uh, say Russia does the, the say Russia comes to you and says, "Hey, I'd like to stab Germany," and you're like, "Well, that's completely fine with me." Say they do what I suggested, where they go Prussia, Warsaw, um, and then go to Romania. Fine, you get Black Sea, you go Bulgaria, Constantinople, normal moves. You're okay with this. Uh, if you're trying to be peaceful. With them, uh, what you do is you say, hey, uh, I'm going to take Romania. Uh, and then, of course, this is, of course, assuming J Russia goes a northern route. Uh, which, again, if I was in diplomacy game and I want to be friends with Austria, I want to tell Russia to do that. So if they do this, you know, the thing where on second turn they move there, they make an attack, uh, forcing a bounce, but then you're in Silesia, where you have then three to two odds at best. Right? If you do that, it, you know that there's units committed there. You know you get this because this fleet supports this army into there and then this guy walks in because you know that Austria won't necessarily know what you're doing and go there. That's how you would gain two. And then in this scenario, I would say you get two armies because now Russia's really weak and you just want to pound Russia into the ground in this scenario. So you do have a fair amount of options with Turkey. Uh, another interesting way you could do it is uh, if you wanted to attack Italy, uh, you could, you'd be talking to Russia, you'd be like, hey, let's be buds. You know, if you say you want to go the, the, the friendly route, uh, the friendly route while still being safe is to go Constantinople, Ankara, or no, uh, you go Bulgaria, Constantinople, Ankara. That's the safe, that's the I'm a nice guy play. You give them Black Sea, right? And then you're, the next play you're doing is you're doing, um, well, actually, you could just hold. Uh, because at, at worst, they're in this position. Uh, you just, you're just you just going to prevent them from attacking. Heck, you could even on second turn, because if, if they don't think, you know, if they think they're just going to be supporting in, because you know that, that this is how it would be end of first turn, right? So say this is end of first turn, and in my opinion, this is the sensible way to go about it, uh, because you know uh, they'll do they'll, there should be a support move into there, and then that'll be a, a straight move. You could go for the bounce which is not bad for you, or you could go here where you know you'll lose. Uh, if I'm Turkey, I, I do this, and then go to Constantinople. Or, if I'm in this scenario, I do that, right? You do something drastic where, where you're jumping around. That's, that's where it comes into play, because, again, as Turkey, you're, you're very limited. There is more to talk about with Turkey with regard to how you deal with um, Austria. For example, if you can convince Austria to do the bold thing and go after Italy, right? So, so here's a cool thing. So if uh, Austria goes after Italy, you get Greece uh, or Romania, or actually you get Serbia, I'm sorry. You get Serbia if you can convince uh, them to do that. So say Italy does its typical moves of Ionian Sea, Naples, and goes to Piedmont to try and get the, the French thing, you know, that bounce that I'm talking about. If this is first move and Austria's first move is to go uh, Venice, like, so they order Venice, right, first move. Then they go, uh, they might, they actually, they might still go Serbia, then go Budapest, or even Tyrellia. That'd be a really strong one. Then, at, you know, at the end of this move, typical, you bounce. Standard. What, what has now happened is that you're pretty much going to say, you're going to give me Greece. You, you just tell them. You're going to give me Greece, and I'll support you later to help out, because they have to go backwards. Because uh, if Serbia doesn't go back, this is a free take for um, for Russia, which is why you get Greece. So if you can convince, if you want to kill Austria, and you want to ally with Russia, you want to convince Austria that it's a good idea to attack Italy. So that's something really interesting to think about, uh, and that'll about cover it for uh, Turkey. Again, Turkey being pretty simple. There's not a lot of stress is playing Turkey. I found it to be the least stressful because you interact with the fewest amount of nations other than Russia. 
Russia also being incredibly easy to play, in my opinion. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, move on to the next one. I hope you guys have been enjoying so far. I'm loving this. This is, this is great. We're doing making great progress. So anyway, guys, uh, as always, I'm El Worfi, and I'll see you guys next time.